Welcome. In this lecture, we would understand what is the difference between t-test, one-way ANOVA, two-way ANOVA. So here is where we would understand just the basics, no statistics and basics. Okay. So why do we apply a t-test? Let's say I have two items. I have a uh, a drink, any sugary drink and coffee. So what I need to do is I need to find the reaction time. So you have person 1, person 2, person 3, person 4, person 5 and person 6 and the reaction time for each of the persons. Now if there are two items that are there with one independent variable and two groups which I have to compare, what do I use is t-test. Now what would happen if there are three items? Let me include uh, water as another item here and the reaction time of each of the candidates here. Now, as soon as I have three item, can I use t-test again for these three items? I can, but what would be the issue? The issue would be, I would have to, let's, um, to make it simple, I write it as A, B and C. Now, in the t-test, I found the relation between A and B. In the next, I would have to find it between B and C and A and C. Now, in each of these cases, let's say the type 1 error, alpha error, which was 5%. So, 5% error in each of these. Now, if I apply the same t-test to three different groups, which is A, B, B, C and A, C, in this case, what would happen? My type 1 error, which is the alpha error, which will skyrocket and would increase at a substantial rate. So, what happens is I cannot apply t-test to multiple values. So I cannot use multiple t-test and consider that my answers would remain the same or similar. Definitely not. There would be higher proportion of type 1 error that would occur. In order to compensate this, what happens or what we do is using ANOVA. Now ANOVA, which is also known as analysis of variance, is a technique where we use or perform or compare three or more groups. So here we have one group of drink, a sugary drink, the other group of water and the third group of coffee. And I'm finding the reaction time across all these. Again, I have six people. I see the reaction times for these six people across these groups. Now, what is so interesting in ANOVA? In ANOVA, we study in two ways. One is within the group. So within this group of drink, what is the variation? So we call it as within group variation. The next case is between the drink and the water, between water and the coffee, what is the variation? So this is what is known as between group. So that is between two different groups and within the same group. Now in this case, what we see across groups, that is between groups, the values, the variations are more or less same. But there are significantly higher variations within the group. So within the group, it starts from 10 till 36, from 11 till 38, from 12 till 37. So huge variation occurs within the group, but across groups, it is more or less the similar variation, which can be seen across all the three groups. So what do we infer from uh, this? We infer that there is lot of variation within a group, but not that variation, not significant variation across groups. That means it is not the drink or the liquid that affects uh, the difference or that makes the difference, but it is the people that make the difference because within one group, there are six different people and we have six different reaction times, which are very, very far off. And therefore, there is, I can mark it as it is, I can conclude it as it is people who make the difference. Now, let me have these three samples, the same three groups again, but I change the values for the reaction time. Now, in this case, within group, I see very, very similar results. So there are no much variation scenes within group. 
so within group variation across drink water and coffee remains more or less the same so the values are close by so from 35 to 37 and more or less the same values here so there is no much within group variation but between group yes there is significant variation reaction time very less with drink little with water and extremely high with coffee that means what i can infer from here is it is drink that makes the difference okay so in the first case we saw it was people who made the difference in this case we say it is the drink that make the difference now understand when we are talking about anova or f test we understand it's a ratio between the variance which is between group and within group so we understand the between group variance versus the within group variance and for this i have not brought the statistics here but just to understand we need to find out the degree of freedom and this degree of freedom is governed by between group freedom and within group freedom between group freedom is nothing but number of total groups minus 1 however when i say within group how much it is it is the total observations minus the total number of groups and that is within group variation now with this degree of uh, variation we can find out the results now this was what was known as one way anova i found out the reaction time across the three drinks and i am comparing the means of three or more sample groups but understand the question carefully now the same thing what happens is i compare the values towards the morning and towards the night so when it is sunny and when it is sunset or at night day and night i compare the reaction time now what happens there are two different groups one is reaction time the other is the type of drink and the next is the duration so three things that are there and the two important uh, variables here are one is the type of drink the other is the duration day or night now i see the reaction time i see in the morning and in the night the reaction time for the drink is more or less the same again the same studies for water but what is there for coffee for coffee let's say my reaction time in the day time is high but in compared to it my reaction time in the night time is low with the coffee so again this can be studied but here i have brought in two different variables uh, which are being studied concurrently simultaneously and we call this as a two way anova so one of the major differences that we saw between one way anova and two way anova is the number of groups that we understand okay so in two way anova we have two factors that we study concurrently in one way anova it's just one factor the type of drink but in two way anova it was the type of drink along with the type of drink day or night and therefore we have lots and lots of variations now anova can further be of various types for example repeated measure anova ncova mencova so we would cover all of those in a separate lecture the basis here was to understand where to apply where do we apply t test where do we apply anova and where do we apply one way anova or two way anova so anova which is analysis of variance of the group assess the difference in the means between the groups so it is the difference between the groups that can be explained so within group variance and between group variance is clearly revealed with the help of uh, one way anova and this is where we have just one factor that we investigate if we have two factors that we investigate concurrently we call this as two way anova if there are just two samples to compare or two means to compare in that case we would have what is known as t test so that was a very basic understanding of where do we apply t test anova one way anova and two way anova we would be covering many more interesting lectures in psychology stay tuned very good luck